Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hello again. Thanks for joining us on Celebrating Act 2. As you can see, Art and I are with the fabulous Bill Jordan, the, the creator of Embrace the Boom. Bill, I'm embracing my boom every day, baby. Everybody right. should. It's, a, it's a, just a mindset of embracing wherever you are in life. I mean, I targeted this for my fellow baby boomers uh, and just got, you know, I just noticed after a while people were uh, begrudgingly getting older. And it's like, come on, man, you know, that, that line of never regret getting older, it's a privilege denied to many. So we may as well live the best life we can. And I think in many regards, we can get better as we get older. Yeah. Well, so I, I've got a question for you because uh, I look forward to getting a little bit older every day. And uh, as uh, the two of you guys know, and a few other people know, I have a 25 year rolling plan and I've got my sister working on my 100th birthday uh, celebration, which is uh, a close to a quarter of a century away from here. But still, you know, uh, you're right. Uh, we're living a long time. And sometimes we reflect on things in the past and you've done a lot for us. As a matter of fact, I'm going to ask you a favor. We're getting a little closer to uh, holiday time. Actually, I'm going to give you a shameless plug here of this wonderful book uh, that you have out with your principles. Uh, that oh, are... there's, there's no shame. There's no, no shame when it comes to plugging a book. I say shameless. It's a shameless plug. <laughs> but I wonder, um, Bill, it's uh, it's nice. I mean, we, we get to talk uh, uh, a couple times a month and uh, just chat about stuff in general, but I wonder whether or not, especially with the holiday season coming up, uh, you could talk about, um, uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be, uh, but it's reflected more than anything else. Maybe one of your favorite principles. Well, I think a great one going into the new year, or really actually it's any time. Um, the Pareto principle, which is practice number 11, Pareto principle is the 80-20 rule. Many of us have heard about that. Vilfredo Pareto back in Italy, back in the day, like around 1800, somewhere around in there, um, did a study about the landowners in his area of Italy and found that 20% of the landowners owned 80% of the land. We hear about complaints like that in our own economy, 20% or less own 80% of the wealth. I think that's the way that's always going to be. But the 80-20 rule plays out in many areas of life. They've done studies of if you're running a company or you've got a sales team, typically, 20% of your sales team will bring in 80% of your sales. 20% of your clients bring in 80% of your revenue. So, I mean, I think we can apply this to our lives. I know for me, and it, may, it might even be less, it might be 10, 90 for me. When I look in my closet, what 20% of my clothes do I wear 80% of the time? <laughs> That's right? good. And then you get that helps you that helps you pare down and stuff if you can do that. But I mean, I've taken the, I mean, this past fall, you know, moving the spring summer stuff out, putting the fall winter stuff in. I mean, I was moving a lot of clothes I never touched at all this summer, just didn't do it. So I, I you know, I think we can apply that to a lot uh, in our lives. If, if you're if you talk to somebody who works out a lot, probably. 20% of their exercises gives them 80% of their physical benefit, probably. Yeah. You know, um, but for me, the real linchpin to this whole 80 20 rule, and I think we've talked about this before regarding resolutions, the podcaster and blogger Tim Ferriss, uh, we watched him on an interview a couple of years ago, and he was asked about whether he made New Year's resolutions. And he said he, he really does not, but he looks at the people in his life and he applies the 80-20 rule. What 20% of the people in his life brings him the most joy, the most positivity and good vibes? And what 20% of the people in his life gives him 80% of his hassle and drama and negativity? And they're, and they're there. And then he just tries to adjust accordingly, moving through his life, moving forward. So certainly some relatives, people at work, you can't necessarily add to or get rid of or get them out of your circle. But when we can, uh, especially that negative side, you know, just try to avoid them. 
I mean, I, yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I mean, that's that's part of your inner peace. And as we get older, I think we all do want and seem to be, at least I am, more attuned to am I at peace? Am I serene? Am I content? And sometimes it's the people in your life adding the drama. So and then the question after that becomes, which 20, 80, 80, 20 are you in someone else's life? Are you one of their 20% that's bringing them 80% of their joy and positivity and laughs? Yeah. Or are you one of the 20% bringing them 80% of their headache and drama and misery? That's the question. I like that. I really like that. It, it, this is a great one. Um, and the idea that you should analyze your place in somebody else's life. Are you part of their 20% or part of their 80%? I love that's. I think that's really important. You, you also, uh, Bill, uh, bring up another uh, uh, thing uh, for for me to think about, which uh, on the eighty twenty rule, is that of the hundred percent of the time that we have, eighty percent is probably wasted. You know, we we maybe ten or ten or twenty percent is on stuff that's important, whether it's paying the bills sure. or or uh, taking care of your health and things like that. But there's another whole eighty percent that probably could be used a lot more productively. Uh, and maybe we could get to a 50-50 a kind of split or something so that, yeah, we all need sure. some relaxation, but uh, we do waste a lot of time. And uh, is that good? Is it bad? Uh, I well, think it could be uh, used know, more productively. Art, uh, Art I, all I can say is uh, I'm retired. And that 80%, God bless us. That's, well, that's the right. best part. That's, that's why on Celebrity Guy 2, I do 80% of the work. Thanks. That's the deal. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for having me back again, spreading the word about Embrace the Boom. Live your life, forget your age, and embrace the boom. Amen, brother. Here you For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.